Hi there, I'm making stuffed apple. I have a uh, Macintosh apples here of medium size, which I am going to halfway core them with my apple quarter. It's just halfway so you don't pierce through and uh, just remove half with it. All you do with your melon bowler is a um, small melon bowler. Remove the rest, which I am going to remove the majority of it in the cavity. So we open our apple ready to stuff. And with your little parry knife, remove the axis, the top. Here, it's halfway quart, which is not pierced through. You can't pierce through because then the stuffing will fall out of there. I have my my slow cooker here, which I am going to put them in my bowl here. I have um, brown sugar, one cup of brown sugar, with one cup of uh, Quaker oats with one cup of uh, dry raisins, one cup of coarsely chopped walnuts. That's gonna be our stuffing with, with one tablespoon of room temperature butter. That's gonna be our filling for our um, apples. I'm going to grade just a pinch of nutmeg, which gives it a good smell. And just a finely grater. You don't need much. It just to give it a nice flavor to your apple. And a little bit of cinnamon. That's gonna be our filling. And just mash it with your hands. Well, make it this all smells so good already. So we're gonna stuff our apples. Here I have my slow cooker, which it will take up to six hours with medium sized apples and high um, settings. I'm also going to put two cups of apple juice in my slow cooker. You do not need to add any more sweet. So make sure this is all incorporated well. We stuff our apples. These are good late snack or dessert with ice cream. Vanilla ice cream goes well with it. So they're medium sized. They're not that big and stuff them all the way you can. They're not pierced through so the stuffing doesn't come through. And just line them up on your slow cooker here. I have um, eight apples already cored. And that should be enough for my size pressure cooker, my uh, slow cooker here. And just stuff them nice and tight so the stuffing doesn't come out of them. I have a stick of cinnamon here that I'm also going to put on my pot here and that would give a nice 
now I'll peel all our apples and I'll make it the whole kitchen smell as well. So um, just stuff them, leave them. Six hours later, you have them cooked, ready to be served room temperature or hot, however you want them with some ice cream. are done after six hours in the slow cooker. They smell so good. They're so fragrant with cinnamon sticks and all the nutmeg. And all you do is take them out. They're so good. And they have nice, I reduced the syrup from the apples and all it's, you drizzle over your apple and it's absolutely so delicious with, with the ice cream that I made, vanilla, French vanilla I made, I am going to pour some over my apple and it's going to be absolutely divine and you want a light you want absolutely light dessert you can pour over some more syrup and it's just it's so wonderful dessert Mm. This is how I make my apple stuff. It's absolutely delicious. <laughs>